Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, and I've been an avid tent camper now for 55 years. Over the past three or four years, I've posted several videos showing our chuck wagon packing system and our chuck box. But I realized that I've never shown you how we use this packing system and chuck box to actually cook a meal in the campsite. And so I decided to get Ava to show you how we cook a Mexican dish in the campsite with our chuck box and chuck wagon setup. Hope you enjoy this video. We've just arrived at our campsite in the Bankhead National Forest in North Alabama and soon we'll be setting up our campsite. Let me just show you how easy we can start cooking. In the back of our car we have a blue and white cooler and a wooden chuck box. On top of the chuck box are duffel bags containing our kitchen canopy, our sleeping tent, our sheets and blankets, a couple of roll top tables, and a couple of folding chairs. In front of the cooler and chuck box are three milk crates that contain our food and some miscellaneous kitchen items plus our stove. When we stop during the day or at the end of the day when we reach our campsite, we can begin cooking without having to remove anything from the top of our chuck box. All we have to do is remove the three milk crates, set up our stove, and open the chuck box door. And now we're ready to cook. Today we're going to be cooking picadillo, a Mexican ground beef soup. We could have cooked our dinner before setting up camp, but we were anxious to get set up, and so we went ahead and set up our tent and our kitchen canopy before starting the picadillo. This is how our chuck box looks now. Ava's going to explain how to cook this picadillo. Let's, we are going to cook picadillo today. Uh, my grandmother used to cook for us, uh, for me as a little girl, and very often, so it's a very good dish. This is. To cook this picadillo, we will use this old cast iron Wagner Dutch oven with our legs. And the first thing we have to do is uh, put the pot and brown the ground beef. While I brown the ground beef, Fraser will assemble the other ingredients. These ingredients are one, tom one onion, two carrots, one large roasted potato, a jalapeno pepper, two garlic cloves, a small bunch of cilantro, one bay leaf, a large tomato, a chicken bouillon cube, a small package of frozen peas, pinch of cumin, salt, and pepper. Ava, what you doing? I'm cutting onion and cilantro and carrots. We are cutting every, all the vegetables in here. After browning the beef, we need to saute the onion and garlic and then combine them with the ground beef. Then I add two cups of water and all of the other ingredients except the potato. 
After 10 minutes, I add the potatoes and cook about 15 to 20 minutes until the carrots and potatoes are tender. Finally, I will toast some garlic bread for Fraser and heat some tortillas for me. In this spoon, you can see the beef, onion, carrots, potato, and peas. Onion. Now, mm. yes. Fraser, do you like it? Mmm, good. You know, we, we have different ways to make a picadillo, but I think this is delicious. See? Oh, turn. Okay. You see? Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and I hope it's given you some ideas about how to organize your camping gear to make your camp kitchen more efficient and effective. For more information about camp cooking and other useful family camping topics, please visit my website, moderntentcamping.com. A link is provided in the discussion below. Take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and spend less money. Go tent camping. Thanks for watching.